everybody, it's Charlie from DM Sound. And today we've got the sound system demo on the 2023 Toyota Prius Prime and its eight speaker JBL premium audio system. This is gonna be an in-depth review. We're gonna take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments, controls, speaker locations. Then we're gonna head out on the highway and listen to these sample tracks at 70 miles per hour. And I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And I recommend listening with headphones so you can hear exactly what I hear in the driver's seat. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. This is the XSE Premium model. Now, we actually reviewed the sound, the, the bass six speaker sound system on an XSE earlier today. So if you do want to see that, check the link in the description. And then we'll also be doing a little bit of a DM first drive on this car. A lot to like about the new Prius. It's a pretty cool product. So check the link in the description to see all about it. Now we always do these tests with lossless uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default. So let's take a look at those now. The 12.3 inch upgraded screen here in the Prius, you can also get an eight inch screen with the base SE and XSE models without the audio screen up the upgrade. Let's go down here to settings and then to sound and media, you get an auto sound levelizer. Now in this car, there's no low, medium and high, it's just on or off and that will pick up elements of the music as you get driving faster and there's more road noise, wind noise, etc. Then under sound tuning, you've got your equalizer, treble, mid range and bass, let's go through those. Below that, you've got adjustments for front, rear, left, right, balance, and fader, and that is it for audio adjustments. Or, yeah, adjustments. <laughs> it's been a long day of shooting, trust me. For audio controls in the new Prius, you've got a volume knob way over here. It's a big reach for the driver. I suppose they just expect you to use the steering wheel control right here, but I will say there are a lot of levels for volume. You see, I'm gonna listen to it loud. we way up here in the 30s, so you gotta really wait a while as that turns down. If you got a call coming in or something like that, I'm surprised you can't press it just to mute. So uh, you gotta reach way over for the knob. For track selection, no physical controls up here. So if you're not on the right screen, say you had CarPlay up or you were doing navigation or something, you'd have to click here to the media screen and then change your tracks. The passenger would have to go through those steps. The driver at least has the right side of the wheel track selection there. For audio inputs in the new Prius, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio. Bluetooth, USB-C, support for wireless and wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and two streaming services built in, Apple Music and Amazon Music. What does that mean you're missing? Well, there's no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, no USB-A ports, make sure you've got an adapter, and a lot of us would like to see Spotify or Pandora or something like that. Um, Toyota may be working on that, I'm sure they could add that in an over-the-air update in the future, but for now, that's all we got. Speaker locations, as I said, this is an eight speaker system. Starting in the bottom left, you've got door woofer one, mid-range up there two, tweeter three, four, five, six on the other side, and then in the back, what I assume are sort of woofer, mid-range-ish type speakers, seven and eight. A little surprising to not see a subwoofer in this car. I was expecting to see maybe subwoofer and center speaker, but that's not what we got. All right, I'm gonna get this put away. We're gonna head out on the road.
little bit longer than usual, partially because I was paying attention to driving and also partially because uh, there's a lot to take in here. It's, it just seems fine. It does seem like they're doing a pretty decent job separating the highs from the mids, even though those two speakers are so close to each other. Uh, I'm just worried about the bass though. I'm not getting a very satisfying driving bass. And this next track where we turn the bass all the way up, I'm worried we're gonna get the same floppage as we got in the six speaker car. It doesn't sound bad, and, and certain songs are going to sound pretty good, especially if you're listening to a static. The new Prius isn't that quiet inside it, though, at highway speeds, so you are going to be fighting a lot of the wind and road noise and everything. And It's definitely a step up from the six-speaker, don't get me wrong, but at $42,000, eh, I mean, <laughs> you could definitely get better. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Prius in general, check the link in the description, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.